Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I am unboxing my design team kit from Cheaply Chic, Miss Lynette. And I will have the links down below for her channel as well as her Etsy shop. This kit is the Sprouts of Joy kit. It is a really fun Easter spring kit. And uh, just look at it. I haven't opened anything up yet. Just pulled it out of the package and it just looks like so much fun already so here is her little letter that she writes always such an inspiration um, I love using even this image after I read this um, and then I use that within the book as well and then it includes an ephemera pack a bunch of fun things and then the journal that gets wrapped up so I'll go ahead and open it. If you have ever purchased a kit from Lynette, she does an amazing job of just coordinating everything together. And this is so gorgeous. I love all the, I love the lavender colors and the green and the yellow. It just, she does an amazing job. She, the journal that she makes is a traveler's notebook size one signature and she always picks a really fun double-sided scrapbook paper collection that she uses on the cover and then she does stitching and includes the name of the kit on the front of the book and just embellishes the front and it just looks so pretty the book on the inside comes with several different kinds of papers, tea stained, um, stationary pages. She always does this really fun heart stained page, book pages and things like that. But the, it comes plain because you're to use the ephemera pack to embellish it throughout. So that is what this looks like. I love this purple paper. So this will be really fun. A really pretty polka dot bag in there. So yeah, that's what that looks like. And then let's open up the ephemera pack. It always amazes me all the different things that she's able to find to put these kits together. This, everything always matches really well. And she always includes similar items, but they're different because they go with with the kit. So she always has an ephem or a, a fiber yarn fiber kit, but always the colors match perfectly. So those are beautiful. And then there's a little glassing bag in here. She always includes a gold some gold paper clips or whatever color paper clips would go well with that. So you can make a tassel, you can use these on tags, alter a paper clip. In this little bundle, I'm really loving the playing card. Super cute bunnies, adorable. And then a little seed pocket or envelope. That's really cute. And then in here are all the fun tiny tags and claim checks and little memory decks card and then some stickers and die cuts or punches that she does on the paper. So that's really adorable. So she did some little like medallions and then butterflies and some hearts this time. Here's some little price tags, some tickets, a memory decks, a claim check, another claim check, a green tag, and a couple little tiny tags. And then she has these clear floral stickers. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
And then in here, she included these wood cutouts, and they're so cute. These you can add to the cover or make tags out of them. So there is a watering can and a wheelbarrow, a little chick, and a bunny in there. So cute. Her kits are always so meticulously, meticulously put together. She just puts everything all, in all these little baggies and everything you can use in the book. She always makes a little bead bookmark on some wax thread. So this, really pretty, I love those beads. And that can just go in and hang inside one of the pages wherever you want to bookmark. So like that. And then here is a little baggie and it has a binder clip and a little flower charm and one of those little chains. It's kind of like a keychain keychain chain. I'm not sure what you call that. But the the ends hook together. So there's that. And then in this bundle there is a craft tag that she stamped with a cute bunny and hello spring up there. There's a doily and a flash card. On the back was this postcard. Oh, this is so cute. The Peter Rabbit postcard. And then in here are the bigger tags and some journaling cards. So here's some journaling cards from the paper collection. It's really cute. There's a library pocket and a library card, a repair tag. Here's a long tag from the paper collection. And then just some more claim checks or layaway tags, craft tag, and a guest check. In this really pretty green little glassine bag. And then, oh, this is adorable. A sweet bunny napkin. Always fun to pull apart and decoupage onto a tag or a page. Here is a weekly timesheet. Some sticker labels. I have I haven't embellished any of these yet. She always usually includes a sheet of these, but I need to, to use them and make it a point to make something with them. And then she includes a couple squares of the paper collection that she uses. This one has some bees and flowers and then a floral pattern on one side and then this has a plaid and then looks like a book page with some floral elements on top. And then here are some book pages. These are so cute. Looks like a Peter Rabbit book page. And then this is a poem book page a cookbook page. This is called Indoor Games. And then a fairy tale book page. That's pretty cool. And then finally, the last couple items is a piece of floral stationery and a piece of vintage wallpaper. So everything just, oh, I love it. This is going to be so fun to do and put together. I just love the Easter theme. So hopefully you have a chance to check out her shop and pick up one of these kits. Be on the lookout for a future video or two of process of what I make with some of this, some of the items in this kit. Also, I'll link down below 
my video of my process of the previous kit called New Beginnings. I made a fun pocket insert that you can add to a page or just stick inside your book. So if you'd like to see that, I'll have the link down below. Alrighty, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye, God bless.